hours. Like, nobody can post a video for hours. Well, uh, well whatever. No, but, but we're only going to do about... Uh, let's do... What is up, everyone? It is Brandon Sav back again with another video. And guys, let's get right back into the work. I'm not even going to explain where I've been, what I've been doing. Let's just do it. Uh, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys should have already been seeing the fire that I've been posting. But if you guys don't follow me, make sure you guys do that right now. Follow my Instagram page at be the visionary. But anyway, um, you guys been seeing even from the last video, we've been creating these stop motion sort of videos from photos and it's been getting a lot of great responses. So opening it up, you just want to start a new project, right? And then a new composition. We're going to name this composition text text me, right? And then as far as the dimensions, it's wherever you want them to be wherever the video is going to live that's what you want so i know that i made a video before about different templates of, of different places where you want to post let's say you wanted to do a regular square image on instagram it'll just be 1080 1080 but if you guys ever scroll on instagram and you see that some people's posts are longer than others that's a four by five you'll it'll be 1080 by 1350 and then anything other than that will be for your discretion so these are just two for instagram um if you wanted to do it just for story that would be cool too it'll be 1080 1920 um but we're just going to do it for a post so it's going to be 1080 1350 it's going to be a four by five post as you guys can see there and then as far as the duration goes this is how long you want the video to be so this is going to be the, the milliseconds i guess you could say seconds minutes and then hours we're not doing any hour like nobody can post a video for hours well, we, uh, well whatever no but, but we're only gonna do about uh let's do let's do 10 seconds let's just do 10 seconds we're gonna just do 10 seconds obviously you guys could do 30 20 whatever you guys want to do but i'm just gonna start it off with 10 go ahead and press okay the background color you could leave to whatever uh just to show you that you can i was just gonna put it blue because we're just gonna put the image on top of it and i just wanted to press this because you guys are probably saying like oh I'm, i have my background there and then you can just toggle transparency here but i usually just toggle transparency keep that on because most likely you're, you're gonna put an image or something over it so all right so back to the other folder that we were in where i had all of my videos and everything there, there's a few things you're going to need you're going to need the text message image uh i'll also provide some type of noise or overlay that if, if you guys may want to use that and then of course you'll need the text message sound so i found this on youtube i'll probably just make it into an mp3 for you guys and, and put it on my cell phone for free if you guys want to follow the video but it's typing uh other message sound and stuff like that so those are three things that you'll need and then of course the subject um i wanted to use the regular photo to be honest but i think that'll be whack of course we, we gotta we gotta just step it up so i'm i'm gonna take a minute and find the original video that i've had i'm gonna drag the video into this panel the effects control panel or project project panel and down below to the timeline this is all the way just 10 seconds so the video that i have i'm going to drag it down to the timeline and as you guys can see it's looping i take out my phone start texting so I'm, I'm really just scrolling but make it look like i'm texting and i put it away same thing so in reality i have to find a window probably about a couple seconds to really add the text messages. So in my case, I know I told you guys to make the video 10 seconds, but this is a perfect learning experience. So I added it for 10 seconds, but I don't think that's long enough for me to actually add the text messages. So I'm gonna go to the top right here, go to composition, composition settings, and right where I put 10 seconds, I need to change that to 20, boom. So now as you guys can see, it's actually more, more space. And what I wanna do is I wanna duplicate this. So what we're gonna do is click the video, press command D and it duplicates. And then I'm just gonna drag this all the way down. So it's gonna be like an endless loop. Wait, no, it's not. Endless loop, Oop, here we go. And the project panel, these text messages that I had, I had named it new tech, I have to drag that in. But of course, just like Photoshop, I can't have it at the bottom. So I have to drag it to the top so that it's, it's seen. Then I'm just gonna position this perfectly, perfectly in the corner there, perfectly. And the next thing, 
I want to do at least is drop this menu down and then put the opacity down a little bit so that I can still see everything. So let's see how that look. Perfect. Now, of course, I don't want the text message to show there. So I'm just going to drag it a couple seconds over right when I'm typing. So, right. And then the next thing, obviously, it's not going to show the whole conversation like, hey, where are you at? And then I'm responding. No. I need to mask out at least the first text message. So I'm just going to put a box around that and it's going to mask out the rest. So I'm I, what I did was I hit the pen tool. You also could press G and created a box around that to mask that out. So now all of them don't show is just that one. Perfect. So now what we need is we need um, we need the text message to show up and to be honest, I think that looks corny to just have it pop up like that. So what I want to do is I want to change the anchor point. Put it, give me a second. I have to change that. All right, guys, uh, I have to move the anchor point. So I believe you press. Yeah, when you press Y, that's what you have to do. When you press Y, you want the anchor point to be in the corner of the text bubble because we're going to animate this. So once I have it in the corner here, I want to go to the first, the first point of the, the start of the video of the new text. I want to hit scale. I'm going to hit the keyframe because I'm going to add a keyframe there, move it along a little bit, add another keyframe. See, I'm pressing this button in the corner right here, and then I'm going to move it slightly a little bit more and I'm going to add one more keyframe. So in total, I have three keyframes and what what is going to happen is I'm going to have it come in, get bigger, and then it's going to be regular size. So it's going to look like it's popped in. So to start this keyframe, I need it to be at zero because there's nothing going to be there. This middle one, you see how it gets bigger? This middle one, I want it to be a little bit bigger than 100%. 100% is at its normal state. So a little bit bigger than 100%. I'm going to do about one. Let's do one. Let's do 110. Let's see how 110 looks. Oh, it created it created another keyframe, but I'm just going to delete it. Uh, I should have I should have selected it before I, I typed it in. So look, it's going to get bigger and go back to 100%. I kind of want to exaggerate it a little bit more to be honest. So, I'm a high I'm a move the pin over it, highlight it a little bit more and back to zero. Let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good. Now, one more thing. I'm I'm going to right click this middle, move them in a little bit to make it happen faster. Right click this middle one and we're going to change the effect on it to easy ease. What this does is soften the softens the effect. So, that was the first one. What I want to do is I want to, so this is going to be the first text message. Let's let's before I jump, I'm, I'm going to finish the next, the next thing. So if you guys got this far, make sure you guys put a like on the video below. I am trying to be back. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a lot more subscribers. Cause again, I still remember at 5k I'm dropping that pack. Everyone's been asking me about that pack. I'm dropping a pack at 5k secrets up. And then after that, we got some more stuff coming. Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So boom. So we have that text message popping in. Next thing we're going to do, it can't be a blank text. We have to add some text. So file new. No, not file new. Sorry. New text. Right click on this panel here. Put new text or yeah, there you go. I have to click anyway because it's, I have to start typing. So I wanted to say, hey, guys. No. Let's make it say more videos, please. More videos, post more videos. Sorry, I'm like thinking on the fly. So post more videos. Obviously, that's not the, the correct font we need. Apple uses Helvetica for the phones and everything else like that. But you guys could obviously post post it in any font that you guys want. But if you want it to look realistic, Helvetica new. Helvetica new and not in caps. 
So let's see. Post more. Nobody type. Nobody types like that. Post more videos, bro. Right. And it's not bold. It's going to be regular. Yeah, regular looks fine. Post more videos, bro. Now we're going to move this. And make it a little smaller. Post more videos, bro. And again, just like the last, just like the last edit, we want it to start where uh, the text messages pop in. So uh, one thing that you could do is you could either drag it over or if you press the left bracket, it's the button next to the delete button below the delete depending on how your keyboard looks um if you press the left bracket it will match it up with wherever the marker is so again kind of popped in a little bit too fast the text message can't pop up like that all right but we're, we're gonna fine tune the edits and post so so, so far we got, but got it coming in. I get the first text message, post more videos, bro. And that looks good. Uh, but well, we'll add more in post. So that looks good. We're going to add the sound, audio, everything else in post. So I think that looks really, really good post. You can leave it like that, but I want it to match up. Cause if you notice the text messages comes up, boom, I think the text should pop up like right there let's see how that looks but nah how we had it was good there you go so i think that looks good it could either be like that or if you actually want an effect on it the cool thing about after effects that I, i've learned is once you get the the hang of it you really just see that there's a lot of easy effects that you can just type in so you can also go on YouTube and kind of like search them up, but I literally just start typing. So if you literally, no pun intended, type, type, they give you an anime of a typewriter. So you literally take this and drag it onto the type, right? And look what it does to it. As a matter of fact, the edits are these keyframes right here. Um, you can either because again like i said i'm still learning you could either so this is where as you can see like this is where the text starts but right where these points are is where you begin the animation so you can either again press the left bracket and then drag that over no drag that over I guess you can't. Um, so wait, we're going to edit. We're going to edit the effect on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the first thing you want to do. So the first thing you want to do is I need to change how this looks a little bit. So when you make it bigger, when you actually make the panel bigger, you're able to edit the keyframe. So this is the start of the animation. Can I? And then this is the finish. So I want it. I want it to be really quick this this thing pops in really quick post more videos so as soon as this animates i want to drag this over to the start of this so post more videos bro there you go so again what we did i'm gonna delete it and add it back since so so that could be clear so we have initially we started off with it just says i'm gonna delete the animation so we started off and it just said post more videos bro but you again like i said you could do, you could keep it like that or you could have it type in. So once you want it to type in, you, you'll type whatever effect you want. We're gonna drag it onto there. And then on the side in this panel here, you'll see there's something new that popped up called animator. And there you go. Um, we're gonna just edit the animator. So 
before we had it small but if you press i what it does is it, it expands and makes it bigger um so you're able to move the keyframe so this is the start of the keyframe we're gonna move it to the beginning and then we wherever you want the text to end so look how long this is gonna take post more videos bro looks like i'm typing that which will kind of be cool but i don't think it's a tech i'm receiving the text message so we're gonna drag this in look and look how fast it's gonna pop up Oh, post more videos, bro. That's way too fast. Post more videos, bro. And then now I'm looking at my phone. I need to get in maybe another text message. So we're going to repeat the same edit. But there's one more step that I want to It's sort of optional, but I want to sort of include it. So you can actually add names. You can add names uh, on top of the text so people know who's texting it. Or you could leave it up, leave it without. It's optional again. Um, the more practice you do, the better you'll get. So again, we're going to right click here on the panel, new text. And then if you start typing, it'll pop up. I usually just start typing so that I don't lose it. But the person that's going to text me is mom. <laughs> what better motivation you could get than your mom? So mom says you need to post more videos, bro. If your mom's calling you, bro, ah, she's cool. But anyway, um, you could put it anywhere. Post more videos, bro. But all of this needs to animate in at the same time or else it'll just look weird so the animation is coming in now to be honest you know what you'll have to do to set it over the top so the same animation that we've made on this first one am i able see i always try new things so am i able to copy this yes i am so perfect so the same scale animation that we've created before where i had the text bubble coming in bigger than it was you can do the same thing for the name the text message so mom does it usually tell the time on the text uh depending on how real you want it to look it'll just say the time it, it does say the time but i don't really even want to go that crazy i just want you guys to be able to edit this so mom i think it looks weird that it's coming in at the same time let's see something really quick though boop mom should it be i think it should this should be a little bit first mom nah that looks weird i'm just trying to get the perfect timing of it mom i think that looks good um i just think that it overlapped a little bit so i'm gonna move it up a, a tad bit there you go mom boop, post more videos bro and then i'm gonna respond with i got you and then that's gonna be it so after that we're gonna just add post post edit and i think that i think that this was a real dope experience so let me try something new so boom the new text i said i really just said so boom that's like a new york thing so the new text i already have the effects on it which are cool the only thing i really would have to change because remember it's a big image we just um masked out the first text so remember it's a big image so i can actually duplicate that to to speed this process up so that's exactly what i'm gonna do so remember to duplicate you're gonna press man d while this is selected so while whatever well whatever it is that you want to duplicate is selected in this case it's a text bubble so i'm going to duplicate that and i should change the name to be honest to make things easier rename i'm gonna rename this one reply because this is going to be where i reply so reply and since we duplicated it it's going to look exactly like the other text as you can see i just moved the i just moved the mask down you guys are going to do the same thing so this is going to be my re reply reply is blue if you guys aren't familiar with iphones so reply is going to be blue and of course aesthetically you don't want the reply to be all the way down here so boom we have the i keep saying so boom sorry about that i have to get back into the mo mode of, of making videos so guys bear with me but as long as i'm doing it we'll, we'll, we'll fix the kinks later so we have the reply we have the reply and i'm i just need to move that up so the best way to do that is transform you drop down the menu hit transform and then position and you just want to play around with these a little bit i'm just going to move mine up there just dragging and guys i appreciate you guys for really commenting and and really just responding to a lot of a lot of my old videos just saying that you guys miss me and you, i should post more I really appreciate that. I really see every comment. Again, one of the comments I've seen was uh, stop making excuses, just post. And that's really what I'm gonna do. I, usually I, I'm in the habit of like updating you guys on like what's been going on, like why I haven't been posting. But guys, I, I, I feel like you guys come here to just watch and learn. So if you guys wanna hear more, I guess you could comment. 
and say you don't mind or whatever the case but uh j let's just keep this going uh whatever whatever it is i appreciate you guys um we're on the road to 5k 5k is next after 5k we're out of here so funny thing is while i'm doing this i'm actually getting text messages so that reminded me we actually have to put the sound on to the video but that is post so we just moved my text message up just to line it up and to be honest with you i noticed something on mine so the first text message uh on mine on my end i'll put the opacity down to 67 that's probably about too light you know because there's a lot going on in the background so i'm gonna put it up to about 87 there we go and of course this isn't lined up oh wow that's pretty cool because the anchor point is still up there so my text message response comes down from the sky but that, that was kind of weird but it looked cool but anyway uh i changed that so i'll change the opacity on that one so whatever you do to that you kind of want to match it on yours so the opacity i put to 87 gonna change that and just so you guys have a better ability to, to understand these layers you can also color them so let's make all the text messages blue text messages are gonna be blue well the text bubbles are gonna be blue the responses and the text itself let's make it orange we have orange orange so all the text and responses are gonna be orange so it makes it easier just to just be able to see what's going on so the fact that I duplicated my text message the response I have to change a few other things so Again, we're gonna press Y because this anchor point is all the way in the sky. See it? You wanna change it to the corner so it pops in perfectly. So again, change it to the corner so it pops in perfectly. And then for me, this mask kind of is kind of um, messing me up. So I'm gonna click this selection tool and just drag the mask in tighter because I don't want anything else to show now let's see what we got working with so the timing has to be after i've received the text boom so anywhere from right now boom there we go there we go that looks good so boom mom post more videos okay in reality i might have to move that down so i can put my name be the visionary okay so what we got going so we got let's play it let's play it back and again guys one tip that i can tell you is if you look right here at you guys are probably gonna say oh it's not that clear if you want it to look as clear as possible you want to put it as full but that does kind of take away from the rendering speed so in this case i put it at a third so it's a third clear to what it really is gonna be so let's let's play it right from the top it's gonna be music playing and post we're gonna add all that stuff but it starts off blurry play it off get a text message post more videos bro and then i'm gonna respond and then that is gonna be the end of the video but, but i think it looks perfect as a reference let's see let me see something because i want to reference the first video that i made to just see everything because i did it at the spur of the moment so i of course have to look back to what i did so i had it going i actually put today oh now i see what i did so i'm not gonna well i'll i'll, I'll save it for post because i don't want to confuse you guys but we're gonna keep going text message and then we're gonna repeat the same exact thing that I just did. Again, you guys could duplicate the response or you guys could just literally type it out, to be honest. I think I wanna duplicate it because it's, it's important to work smarter and not harder. So the mom and post more videos, bro, I am going to hit command D if once I have them selected. And then one trick that I learned a little bit more organized is once they're selected, hold command and press the right bracket to move them both above and above each other above everything else in a sense so now let's see so now of course we have to change the position if you hold down command you can move everything down so now let's see boom post more videos bro so now for the post more videos that's so funny like your mom is not gonna text you that po for the post more videos bro move it over a little bit let's see post more videos bro it needs to be moved over a little bit more and come in a little bit later so look boom, post more videos bro mom should i put me or just put be the visionary i'm actually gonna put be the visionary it's crazy because a lot of my subscribers and like followers they'll they'll tell they'll call me brandon and i'm like how do you know my name but then i remember i say it in every video brandon sav and this is an important 
part because I accidentally just pressed the command, the um cap, caps lock. And with After Effects, it doesn't refresh if you have the caps lock on, which is cool and weird at the same time. But be the visionary, post more videos, bro. And what, what would my response be to my mom? Okay, okay, I got you, mom. Love you. No, just okay, got you. Dot, dot, love you. Hmm, <laughs> perfect. So, uh, I think that's pretty cool. So, let's play it back. So, you got the text message coming in. Bloop, post more videos. Bloop, be the, oh, I spelled be the visionary wrong. That is a shame. This is why you watch back your videos, though. Boom, be the visionary. Okay, I got you, love you. Okay, I got you, love you. Now, this is one thing that I was actually thinking about in when I re watched the old video. I need to chop, I need to one chop all these videos probably about here here so one way to do that is press command shift d it splits it up that's the easiest way i found command shift d keep selecting down and hit command shift d i know there's probably an easier way but as long as you get the job done no one really knows how you did it so if you guys have an easier way to do this let me know please how to chop all the videos down because i know in Premiere, if you have the razor tool, the cut tool, and you hold down shift, it chops the whole video. But nonetheless, let's keep going. Have that going, got you, shuts off. All right, let me see it again one more time. Now we either could go out in style or go regular. So I choose to go out in style. So the same scale, this is gonna be cool. The same scale, let's try something new. The same scale that we use for the bubble text. Let's copy that, right? And towards the end of each text, text. let's paste. So I pasted it. Now, while it's still selected, let's re let's right click and go to time reverse keyframe. Now, let's see how this came out. Yes, perfect. So what I just did was I copied the keyframe because we had it go from zero to 105 to 100, 100 being normal. So it got bigger and then normal size. So now that I reversed it, it's going from 100 to 105 to zero. So it's like almost zapping in. So now I have to do that for everything. So the I got you part, I need to do that as well. So now I have it selected. I'm going to wait. Let me copy that over. I'm going to copy that and make sure I'm make sure you're meeting at the first keyframe because this line here is going to is going to make everything look uniform. So the K I got you, I need to paste that. I need to paste paste that keyframe in there now. And that I did. So now let's pay attention to Wait again, the same for be the visionary. Sorry, one second. Boom, I pasted it. So now let's pay attention to only the response. So I'm gonna move the camera down. So you guys can not see the, so let's see how that looks. So it look, it pops in, boom, be the visionary. Okay, I got you, love you then it's going to pop out. That looks perfect. So now we're going to we're going to speed up speed everything up and do that for everything else because look, it looks way better. Pops out, but then the other one just sort of just disappears. So again, same thing, we're going to we're going to do that for everything. So I already did it for my responses. So now let's do it for my mom. So Again, line it up with the first keyframe, select wherever you want to paste, and we're going to paste that in there. Again, for the post more, bro, I'm going to paste that in there as well. And then for her text message, lastly, we're going to paste that in there as well. So now let's pay attention to what we just did. So let's pop it in. My text message popped in. Then now boop, everything disappears. So, so that, that looks perfect. I think that, that aspect is way better than what I did before. So again, just talking to you guys, as you keep repeating the same steps, 
just practicing with these programs you learn different things and you try different things and this gives you a different out out outcome sorry so again let me go back to my reference point video I'll go back to my reference point uh let's look so i had that pop in I had that pop up how did i dis make the text disappear see i oh my goodness that's all I, I love you guys man like i literally sorry i'm, I'm like getting excited with the littlest things people are probably like well, what do you like i don't see it if you're a designer you definitely see it so i literally just had the text disappear but i mean it still looked cool i still got a lot of responses but you see just getting better and better and better and better as you keep repeating but one thing i did add that i'm noticing here is that i added a drop shadow on it because i'm having the same problem with this one depending on what you have in the background you might have the same problem but uh there's a lot going on in the background it's hard to see the text so i added a drop shadow so you guys could see it so i mean i'm really excited about this i, I just just learning different things and, and explaining different things it just, it just looks cool so now we are now entering post so post i'm not going to put today at 8 35 because you don't really have to so to now we're en entering post so post is just any music you want to add any like sound effects and everything else of that nature so for you guys it's going to be a lot easier because i'm going to provide you guys with like the mp3s to each of these sound effects and but for me it's actually going to be really difficult so i'm gonna show you the difficult way so that you guys will be able to manage whenever whenever you guys get get files that, that may not be accepted or whatever the case so so i got this video off of youtube and of course we don't need the visuals so we're gonna press this little eye here we just need the sound so you're still gonna hear the sound there you go you see it's perfect timing so i'm just playing it back so again the trick that the trick that we learned earlier we're gonna do we're gonna do that same trick so the the duplicate trick where we split it in two so we're just gonna split this for the different sound effects. So the typing, I need the typing. So it starts here. So I'm gonna select the the time the time that I need and press Command Shift D, and then where it does it end. So the message was sent there. So again, so I can delete the rest of that. So this part here is gonna be. Oh wow, sorry, I didn't mean to double click that. I meant to right click it and rename to typing typing it's going to be called typing and then this next part here with well, the first part text message sent is actually at the perfect time so so i'm gonna just chop it here hopefully i didn't mess it up there you go i didn't hear anything so i'm just dragging it all to get the perfect timing all right it's good so we have the two this is going to be message received i'm gonna rename it to message received boom so message received and typing so that's two different effects that i think look good gotcha wait i didn't hold on there we go and then i have to sort of the typing is gonna have to be like really zoomed in so it's gonna be like quick typing so no it actually doesn't i'm see I, i'm not even really like paying attention to what i'm just saying i said oh it has to be quick typing we're editing the video. You can move whatever you need. So, okay, I got you. Be the visionary and the post, the um, the bubble for those two, the res the reply bubble. I'm gonna move it over, move it over because I want it to look genuine. Like I'm actually typing. I can't type in a second. So I'm moving it all the way over. You guys could adjust this as well. So this whole top, this whole part right here, I'm typing. So. I did it so anyway so that part right there the the audio was overlapping overlapping each other so that's important too i just had to chop chop the end so receive the text message and then and then as soon as i pull out my phone i need to start typing so i'm gonna match that up right there typing perfect you see sound effects perfect let's see when i see perfect receive the text got you all right so guys thanks for thanks for tuning in this late um 
make sure you guys if you guys made it this far put a like on the video i'm going for I, I'm, I'm setting the bar high I'm, hold on I'm, I'm about to look how many likes my most watched video has which is definitely the rip paper texture video you guys probably already seen that video but i'm going for more likes than that so make sure you guys give me how many likes does this one have this one has 2,000 likes i'm going for 3,000. make sure you guys give this video 3,000 likes and as soon as it hits 3,000 likes i'll give you guys something for free i already i already have it in mind so let's smash that like button smash the like button 3,000 likes let's go